Good morning, AQHA professional horseman Randy Jacobs, also a member of Team Wrangler. I'm here this morning to properly demonstrate to uh, fit a show halter and also different ways to apply the lead shank to the show halter. One of the biggest pet peeves I have being a halter horse trainer is so many times I see a person that has a show halter on the horse and it's hanging down on the horse's face and it doesn't fit the horse's face properly. Uh, you can make a really pretty headed horse look ugly if you hang the halter down on their face. So it's very important that you fit the halter on the horse properly as well as not only halter but a showmanship also. The overall picture makes a big difference. So several things. You got to take in consideration the age of your horse. If you're showing a baby or a yearling, you got to use that type of uh, age halter for them. You can't put a aged halter on a yearling or a yearling halter on a weanling. So you got to start out with trying to properly fit it with the age of your horse. Uh, currently, this horse that I'll demonstrate on is a yearling, and he's kind of in the middle. Um, it's hard to fit a yearling halter on him, but he's not big enough to fit a horse halter yet. So uh, sometimes they're, they're kind of in the middle there. But you want it to fit snug up tight. So many times you can see this horse, uh, the halter actually is hanging down on his face. And I'll loosen it a little more, and you'll see what I mean where the halter's hanging way down, loose on his face. That's a very poorly fit halter. You got to make sure that the nose band is correct, that it sets just below the eyes. You want the side cheek to be the proper length. If you have one that's really long, it's not going to fit. You want to make sure that the jaw piece underneath has a wire in there that you can bend it and form around the jaw. Then the brow band, you want the crown piece. You want to make sure that that halter is fit up tight, snug to that horse. You can see the difference, how much difference right there that looks when you fit the horse halter up tight and it, it forms up behind his jaw and it sets up really nice and neat. Uh, there's several ways that you can apply uh, the chain to the horse's halter. You, uh, right here I have it under the chin and it goes under the chin through the loop and it hooks up on the other side as well as you can take it over their nose and through the loop and snap it again. A lot of showmanship people um, or halter, <clears throat> they'll just take it through the ring uh, at the bottom of the halter underneath their chin and loop it through there and snap it back to your lead shank. You want to make sure you have a good length uh, chain as well. That's very important. Sometimes I'll see a chain that's really long where it's clear down here. That's not a good fit. So you want to make sure that you have a proper lead shank as well as a proper halter that's going to fit your horse correct. Always make sure that it's clean and polished and very neat. Um, I always look for as well when I'm fitting it, the halter must have several different adjustments. Under the chin, adjustments on both sides. The crown piece has adjustments on both sides. And again, as I mentioned, that the throat latch or behind the jaw needs to have a wire in it so you can form that to fit up behind the horse's jaw. You see where this, the nose band is right here at, at the cheekbones on the horse. That's a properly fit halter and you're ready to go to the show pen. Team Wrangler is a program sponsored by Wrangler and consists of top AQHA professional horsemen and horsewomen. To find a professional horseman in your area, go to aqha.com slash find a trainer.